Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Isshin LAL3. This is a 3 inch 4S freestyle model with the Cadex Baby Turtle all in one HD recorder. And this guy has taken up so much of my time already that I'm not going to run through all of the specs like I usually do. So you can check the link in the video description, otherwise I'll be here all day. I don't think I would recommend this one, which is a shame because the concept is okay and the components are all there and it actually flies pretty good. But I think in general, especially if you are new, then it's going to put you off the hobby or if you're willing to fix these things then maybe Maybe you will like it, I don't know. The biggest showstoppers for me are the fact that it's advertised as having smart audio on the VTX, so you can switch it up to 300 milliwatt in power. But if you look at the fourth receiver wire, it's missing from the UART to the VTX, so smart audio isn't actually connected at all. It's fairly easy to fix for me because I've got loads of these JST wires, but an absolute pain if you haven't, and the whole thing has got to come apart as well. The second issue is that they haven't soldered the two connectors or provided the controller board to change any of the camera settings on the Cadex Baby Turtle. So it's stuck with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, meaning that if you have 4 by 3 goggles, then the image will get stretched vertically, making the perspective very difficult to fly with. But they have also left all of the Cadex on-screen display info on there, so you get a constant craft voltage of 5 volts, with it being powered off a 5 volt back on the flight controller, as well as the Cadex craft name and a timer. But they have also mounted the board in a way that requires a screwdriver to get to the record stop and start button. Luckily, it does save the footage when you pull the LiPo out. The camera is mounted in TPU up front, making it very susceptible to Jallo and the props getting shot of the video footage as well. Ishin recommends a 450 mAh 4S for this model to try and get it under 250 grams, but these 1408 stator motors will require an 850 mAh 4S to deal with the current draw. The problem is they only give you a battery strap big enough for a 450 mAh 4S, so I've borrowed this iFlight one, and it weighs 284 grams with the 850 mAh 4S, so it's over that 250 gram limit if that's important in your country. I think it's only available as a plug and fly, so I've added an XM Plus receiver which connects via a servo wire, but they didn't include these antenna straws, which would have been such an easy thing to do. The Betaflight setup needs some work, which isn't unusual for Ishin, but it's come flashed with version 3.5, so it's no longer listed in the configurator if you want to reflash it. And I reckon they have done that because power hungry 3 inch models are notoriously difficult to tune in Betaflight version 4 and above, so they've just left it with stock Betaflight 3.5 PIDs and rates. They have left the on screen display tab completely blank other than a voltage warning, and I think this is because they couldn't figure out that the Cadex Baby Turtle camera is set to NTSC in its own settings, but they have got it set to Auto in Betaflight, which isn't picking up the NTSC format properly. So they just decided not to bother looking at it at all and get rid of all of the on-screen display info, but a simple switch to NTSC in Betaflight would fix that problem. Problem. And then you can place the items on the screen where you like, but if you leave it as auto, then it misses them off the bottom. I don't know, let me know if I'm being too harsh here, but the Ishin Ale Al 5 style didn't have these problems. It's almost like a different team came up with this model. And I think Ishin haven't thought this one through enough. Okay, let's go for a line of sight flight of this guy. Gone straight into acro mode here. And this is really just to see what it sounds like and see if I can spot any potential issues with the tune, how much power it's got. Let's go for a punch out. Oh, yeah, it's got plenty of power for freestyle. No problems there. It's quite an old. 850 milliamp 4S battery I've got here and not any 
voltage sign, which is nice. Not hearing any fluttering or anything like that, which is good news for the tune. It's not really loud either. Let's go for a full punch out. Yeah, very nice. Oh, it's very fast. Nearly lost sight of it then. Just a bit of a silhouette. Okay, let's try angle mode, just to see if there's any drift. No drift, just drifting with the wind. Okay, let's bring it in for a landing and do some FPV with it. Okay, let's go for an FPV flight with the Alayal 3 inch. So the first problem I'm noticing is that the camera format does not match what is in beta flight so I can just about see the voltage of the battery but I put a timer on there as well then again they didn't have any on-screen display options anyways so, just about see what my voltage is. And the camera is also in a 16 by 9 option. Let's see what the tune is like. And a little bit of a wobble there but not too bad for freestyle. The pitch is pretty good. I'm just running at 25 milliwatt here. I did try to change it through the, I think it's the tramp protocol, but it didn't seem to change. See what the voltage is going to do on a punch out. Yeah, went into the 13s, but well, it's not too bad actually, considering we have got those tall stator motors. Motor's actually quite nice. And the only timer I can see is the record timer, but it's not been flying for that long. So I'll stick a separate timer on at the bottom. Just about get around these trees on 25 milliwatt now because the leaves are all falling off. Flying with the radio master here. And we have got the props in shot as well. But I don't think there's any Jallo. It's hard to tell, because obviously I'm seeing the analog feed with also that sheen over the top that you get with these all-in-one cameras. The latency is okay. Can notice it a little bit compared to normal analog, but not bad at all. Lots of break up there. And you'll have to tell me what you think of the HD footage, which I will sort of cut in and out through all of this. So when it looks all blurry and rubbish, that's from the 
DVR of the goggles and then when it's clearer and that's the HD footage. Fly nice though, not hearing any oscillations. We've got a bob on the eye gain. Actually quite impressed with that. Okay, the battery is just reading now, 13 volts. But I did have it sat on the ground for quite a bit, trying to figure out the tramp audio or smart audio. So there you go, that is my review of the LAL 3 inch Cadex HD camera version. I'll put a link in the video description as well as a pinned comment if you wish to get one. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.